Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you've had a great morning this morning. It is Wednesday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Well, it finally arrived. It finally arrived. Um, first off, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Uh, have a wonderful day with your spouse. Uh, give them lots of love as they, as they deserve. Um, I don't have anyone to share with, but uh, I'll be... Uh, making sure the doggies get lots of love today. <laughs> and uh, uh, But uh, again, have yourself a wonderful, ha uh, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, so getting back to this, it finally arrived. I won't show you the front because it's got some personal info on it. But this uh, has been going on since December. Um, Mr. Louis Martinez, and I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, uh, Louis, um, it was kind enough to send me a message on or around Christmas, uh, early December, and said uh, he loves my channel, watches my channel constantly, um, and uh, really, really appreciate you doing that, Lewis. But uh, he said, I have some stuff for you. I have some duplicates if you're interested. Sent me a list of, of what he had. I checked off what I didn't have or what I wanted. And uh, um, some excellent, excellent stuff. And he was kind enough to send it to me. Um, illness is going on. He had COVID, uh, a lot of family stuff. I was working as well. Um, and finally, first or second day of February, he messaged me again and said, here's the tracking number. It's on its way. And I patiently looked every day at the tracking number. And it just arrived yesterday, uh, 13th. So thir um, 11 days it took from um, Winchester, Illinois, which is around Chicago area, to here in Belleville, Ontario, Canada. <clears throat> and uh, of course, I wasn't home when it arrived yesterday, so I had to get down to the post office to pick it up. Uh, one of the local um, uh, drugstores here, excuse me, and that was okay, um, but it's here. And I'm really, really pleased. So thank you so much, Lewis. You're amazing. Uh, I know you've sent something to Chris Profi's Music Obsessed, which is awesome as well. So I just wanted to share what Lewis sent to me. And uh, in this wonderful, wonderful package here. And I'll open it up. And I already had a look at it and saved time opening it up. But uh, we'll, we'll open it up. And... Show you what I got. I didn't look inside each album to see what it was, but uh, and these aren't in any particular order. Um, this is uh, In City Dreams, Robin Trower. Uh, I've got lots of Robin Trower stuff. It's uh, he's so good. Uh, Someone calling, sweet uh, wine of love, bluebird, uh, fallen star. Farther up the road, um, smile, little girl, love's gonna bring you around. And in city dreams, the title track. It's on the uh, chrysalis label. Looks like it's in beautiful shape. Um, can't help the ring wear on some of these covers, but uh, really, really nice stuff from Mr. Robin Trower. Thank you. Um, this one I'm really interested in in uh, listening to. This is Bad Figure and Airwaves. Are they down to a duo at this point? Because I just see um, two of them when I opened up the... <clears throat> open up the inner sleeve. This is on the Electra label. I love that Electra label here. Uh, you've got Airwaves, uh, Look Out California, Lost Inside Your Love, Love is Going to Come at Last, a lot of love themes going on here, <clears throat> basic because of the day maybe. Uh, Sympathy, The Winner, The Dreamer, Come Down Hard, Sail Away on this one. And uh, yeah, I wonder if they're just down to a dreamer. Um, or sorry, down to a dreamer, down to a duo. On this one, but cool cover. 
really looking forward to listening to that one. Um, as well as this one. I don't have this one. I have a lot of albums from this guy and the band. Uh, Steve Miller Band, Your Saving Grace. Uh, 1969 release. So early release. Oh, nice. No fly sleeve. That's on the capital label, that green capital label. Really nice. Um... You got a little girl just passing fancy in a midnight dream. Don't let nobody turn you around. Baby's house. Uh, motherless children. The last wombat in Mecca. Feel so good. You're saving grace. On this one as well. And uh, yeah. Cool stuff. Mr. Steve Miller. Love it. Um, I have these two on remastered CD. But, uh, and I have one on vinyl, but the vinyls beat the hell. So uh, I check those off for sure. Chicago Transit Authority. This one's a heck of a lot better shape than mine. Um, and more MoFi sleeves, so Lewis must have added those. It's on the Columbia label. You know, the first three albums, double albums from this wonderful band. One of my favorite bands. At this point, everyone was a um, a star in the band. There was no one main leader. Later on down the road, they got sappy. And uh, after Terry Kath passed away, I never followed them again. But yeah, question 67, 68, listen, poem. Amazing songs right there. Anybody really know what time it is? Famous, famous song, beginnings, freeform guitar. Terry Kath, one of the best guitarists for sure. South California Purples, I'm a Man. Um, great, great cover. Someday, Liberation. Um, just genius, genius from this amazing band. Chicago Transit Authority. And their second album, I definitely scooped that up. I have this on, on remastered CD as well. Um, again, another double album. And it looks like Lewis has added some Mofi sleeves on this one as well. On the Columbia label still. This one's a real banger of an album, for sure. There's the inner. Um, yeah, it's magic. Moving in the road, poem for the people in the in the country. Wake up, sunshine, battle for a grown Buchanan. Uh, make me smile, beautiful song. So much to say, so much to give. Anxiety's moment. West Virginia fantasies color my world. Uh, great song to play. On a day like today, to be free, um, now more than ever. Fancy Colors, I love that track, 25 or 64. Classic, classic, classic. Prelude, AM morning, PM morning, Memories of Love. And then the battle ends soon, or sorry, a, 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 it better end soon. And where do we go from here? Awesome. Awesome. Thank you again, Lewis. And finally, uh, Quicksilver. Um, just for love. Again, a love theme. <laughs> uh, I didn't plan it that way. But uh, yeah. Quicksilver. I love the cover. Another gatefold. And more multi sleeves on that beautiful capital label. I think, as Chris Brophy said, we're the only ones that care about labels. But still. Uh, Dino uh, Valentai, uh, Gary Duncan, David Freeberg, John um, Cipollina, uh, and Nikki Hopkins and Greg El uh, Gregory Elmore on this one. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Looking forward to listening to this one. You got Wolf Run, Just for Love, Part 1. Wolf Run, Part 1. Cobra, The Hat. Freeway Flyer, Gone Again, Fresh Air, Just for Love Part 2, Just for Love, and Wolf Run Part 2 from Quicksilver. Thank you, thank you, Lewis. Amazing. 
some amazing albums. Really looking forward to listening to all of these. Uh, you're so kind, and uh, I really, I really appreciate that. And uh, it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait for sure. Um, also, just wanted to quickly share a couple of box sets that I picked up as everything's sliding all over the place here. Um, and just make it part of the video. Hope you don't mind, Lewis. But um, I don't know how I got listening to these guys. Uh, I think because I picked up some 45s uh, uh, last weekend. And uh, a couple of them are from this band, the Young Rascals. So I've picked up this little digipack uh, original album series, uh, five CDs, their first five albums, um, for 20-some bucks. I mean, this is a great way to just get uh, some discography from a band and not spend a lot of money on it. But they still sound great. Uh, original albums. Uh, and from New Jersey, formed in 1965, these great guys are. Uh, kind of combination of blue-eyed soul, pop, and rock. Uh, inducted the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997, which they, I believe they, they deserve to be. Um, you've got uh, Eddie uh, Brigitte on vocals, uh, Felix um, Cavalier on organs and vocals, um, Gene Cornish on guitars and vocals, and uh, Dino Danelli on drums. Uh, Gene Cornish is from Ottawa, Ontario, the capital of Canada. So he's American-Canadian. The rest of the guys from the States. Um, but uh, it includes their their debut album, 1966, The Young Rascals. Okay. And then you've got uh, Collections, their second album. And then Groovin', the third 1967 release. The Collections was 1967 as well. So that's when uh, bands were spitting out albums uh, almost every year or within the same year. Uh, Once Upon a Dream. Um, this is their fourth album, 1968 release. And their fifth album, uh, 1969's Freedom Suite. So uh, if you don't know The Young Rascals, uh, just a great great band big hits uh, groovin and um uh, baby let's wait just a little believe do you feel it uh like a rolling stone mustang sally um they do some great great covers and some great bands it's really cool that there's a canadian connection to these guys as well but uh these are fun little fun little box sets for sure, a way to get a discography out of, because these albums are hard to find, um, but I'm glad I got that one, as well as this next band, so I watch, uh, if you guys don't watch them, uh, definitely watch them, uh, Phil Ashton on Spinning Magazine, uh, great, um, he's just got some easygoing mannerism to him, and he was doing an unboxing of this um, band that I've never heard of. But uh, I definitely picked it up. This is volume one of Lillian Axe, Resurrection. And you say, who the heck is Lillian Axe? Um, great American hard rock band from New Orleans, formed in uh, 83, uh, led by guitar Steve Blaze. Uh, glam metal, hard rock, melodic rock as well. I mean, it's not heavy, heavy, heavy stuff, but it's just... Full of wonderful guitarists. Steve, uh, Steve Blaze is such a great, great, great guitarist. Uh, accessible as well. Easy listening. Um, the name Axe came from, uh, lately in Axe came from uh, a scene in Creepshow, that, that weird movie, I guess it was. Um, uh, this is part one. I guess part two is coming soon. But uh, you've got seven CDs in this one. Uh, you've got... A nice booklet as well, okay. which didn't come in that digi pack, but a nice booklet with some. There's the look at the band. A lot of lineup changes in this band uh, through the years, but um, 
Steve Lace uh, remains a, a staple. Uh, you've got Poetic Justice. You've got CD1. Um, there are 14 tracks on this one, and um, there's another five or six bonus tracks on that one, but great, great stuff. Um, they do a great cover of Bad Fingers No Matter uh, What, which is cool on this one. Um, Raj, uh, Ron uh, Taylor on lead vocals, Steve Blaze on guitars and keyboards, uh, John Sturr on rhythm guitar and keyboards, Darren Dale on bass, and, and Gene Barnett on drums on this particular album. But that'll change over the years. And then you've got uh, CD2, which is um, Psycho Schizophrenia. Again, with a bunch of bonus tracks on this one, and 12 tracks. And then you've got a couple of live albums. Uh, this is uh, CD3. This is um, Live 2002. And you've got Live 2002 as well. Disc, uh, this is Disc 4. Um, and then you've got... This is Waters Rising, 2007 release. And all these CDs look uh, look the same. They're all that black label. And then you've got Sad Day on Planet Earth, which is CD6. Again, with uh, 15 tracks and, and, some bon and a bonus track on this one. Then you got uh, Steve Blade's um, solo album, Random Acts of Blindness, which apparently is hard to find. Um, but uh, they've added this one on here, um, which is cool. 2004 release. You got 14 tracks and uh, some bonus tracks as well. Living and Axe bonus tracks. Uh, all acoustic versions on this particular one. But uh, really, he also, uh, I noticed he also um, does some teaching, uh, guitar teaching on a YouTube channel. Um, but if you don't know Lillian X. I, I don't know who they sound like. Um, they're not hard and heavy. They're not growling. They're just a great melodic uh, hard rock band with some amazing players, great vocals. Um, and without, uh, without watching Phil Ashton and uh, Spinning Magazine, I wouldn't have never heard of these guys. But nice box set. I'm looking forward to Volume 2 coming out. And uh, that, that's it. So thank you, Louis. Uh, Louis Martinez, you're amazing. Thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed, guys. And uh, I'll be back uh, in a day or two with another video. Um, and uh, have yourself a great, wonderful day. Love you all. Take care. Bye now.